Hello everybody and welcome to another ball review here on the channel this time for the neon ball in the neon city bundle and we're gonna have a closer look in just a bit before that make sure to hit the thumbs up button also subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications for those of you that are looking for ultimate tournament text guides for the neon city nine hole cup uh, or any other tournament for that matter. Scan the QR code on the top right corner of the screen or you use the link patreon.com slash golfclashtommy that is in the description down below. Neon City Bundle, light up the sky with a new neon ball. Power 2, backspin, bo backspin boost 4, sidespin 4 and wind resistance 5. Dazzle your opponents with this epic combination of attributes. With this ball you will be able to try before you buy. Obviously when it comes to this ball you can buy this ball in the new Playdemic store. And the reason I mentioned that is because you do get some extra balls uh, for, I mean for the same price for me at least, but I've heard from other uh, people that is from other countries that you might have to pay a little bit more on the websites make sure to double check that we obviously want to pay as little as possible for the balls from a tournament perspective ladies and gentlemen i give this one a 7 out of 10 and the reason i give this one a 7 out of 10 is because i do believe this is a good ball but it's not going to be a ball that's going to be to use every single time meaning this is not a ball we're going to use on par fives sure i mean someone might going to be argue, arguing with the fact that we can use them maybe on tailwinds on par fives and stuff like that but in general when it comes to par fours in headwinds um, par fives in crosswind headwinds and also some tailwinds we're not going to use this ball it's going to be mainly on the shorter uh, holes it's also going to be um, when it comes to uh, mainly if so in rookie pro expert where in master it's not going to be the bestest of the ball also there is no precision as well i know that's definitely something a lot of players are thinking about before purchasing now a days because they have made these type of balls somewhat obsolete um, when it comes to have no precision at all tour play i believe this is definitely a better tour play ball we're not caring about precision in the same extent there the only problem i have with this ball in tour play or from a tour play perspective is the power two i don't really believe power two is enough when it comes to playing in the higher tour resource such as tour 11 12 and 13 where all three of them play from the third tee and it's going to be too troublesome to get yourself to the green in some of the longer holes there with especially headwind off t but an 8 out of 10 i definitely feel is a fair rating checkpoint challenge 4 out of 10 i value power in checkpoint challenge as i do believe that the power is what it brings you to shoot out more or less every time combined with winning a lot of games outright instead of having a lot of wind resistance this ball could definitely be used in the par threes uh, like the shootout but you need to get there still and having a ball with only power to you will not be a positive thing on um, on the regular uh, holes where you may have crappy clubs where i honestly would play with a kingmaker over this ball in checkpoint challenge if i would have to decide for what ball to play off t not shootout let me know in the comment section below what you think about this ball and whilst you are doing that we are having a look at the size the ball is a small ball which is a negative thing because it's not going to be as easy to center it may not look like that but if you look closely and especially those that do take a tournament tournament <laughs> extremely seriously they are going to make um they're gonna see a difference there which is definitely something that is not good overpower is a plus two definitely okay you have maybe wondered why haven't i mentioned the backswing boost it's because backswing boost is so it's not used much it's used very little and it, it becomes like a gimmick type of uh, stat really sure there's going to be times where this type of ball is going to be valuable uh, but we have had loads of backspin boost balls over the past years and i would be very surprised if there are many players that sit there without any sort of backspin boost. that would be if so if decided not to buy any of the previous ones but then i don't really see why that type of player would buy one now but that's obviously just my opinion scan the qr code here on the screen and uh, go directly and sign up for the premium guides for checkpoint challenge uh, tour play and tournament guide tournament play on patreon.com slash golf clash tommy thank you once again for watching i wish you the best of luck in your golf clash game